I'm feeling vibes on vibes. I'm a ticking dynamite. I blow your candle lights. You know I'm just that type. No, them no fit kill my vibe. Them no fit kill my vibe. Them no fit kill. Them no fit kill. Them no fit kill my vibe. Why is that step? Full of the stars. Yeah, you shall find them. Be so bad. Round baller. Take one. Action. Babies, welcome back to another video. My name is Kay and this is Crown Baller. First things first before we even get into this video, y'all need to simmer down outside, okay? Simmer. If you're not doing so already, make sure y'all hit the red subscribe button down below. Join our team, come sit in our bench. We would love to have you here, of course. Also, follow me on all of my social media. They'll be on the screen. If not, they'll be in the description box <laughs> below. Y'all know how this goes. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. I'm missing something. Un momento, por favor. The red robe means business. Praise God. I did it. I'm sorry. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we're gonna hop into a closure sewing. I'm currently dyeing my bundles right now. I probably will insert clips if you haven't seen them already of the dyeing process. It was honestly a process. So I have a five by five closure and I have four bundles of, I believe 26 or 28 inch. The bundles that I have are from a previous video, which I'll put in the cards above or in the description box below. They're from a company that I found on Instagram and there's some Filipino raw baby bundles. I went ahead and dyed them. I actually had hair from another Another company that I dyed but the hair was shorter and I was low-key kind of having long hair with jaw so I wanted to put my inches in honey this video probably will be a voiceover I just wanted to come and talk to my babes real quick you know what I'm saying because I feel like I need to check in or whatever you know what I'm saying and all that good stuff we're heading into spring we're heading into summer and this is just protective style easy low maintenance that the girls will love it's not necessarily a tutorial but i am going to show you guys how i achieve this look if you guys didn't know i did dye my natural hair ginger this is my color for the summer so make sure if you like this video you give it a big thumbs up comment down below any comments questions or concerns and let's get into this video Hey babe, so we gonna jump into this tutorial. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and do my braid down off camera just because that was gonna take a long time, child. Like this whole process of braiding is at least an hour. Um, so once I finish, I go ahead and um, I was about to put my net on, but then I forgot I needed to grease my scalp. This is honestly a very important step, regardless if you're putting on a net or not. But if you put on a net, child, please, please, grease your scalp like put some anti-itch oils all of that stuff just to help with the itch because the itch will be i ain't gonna say the word but y'all know where i was going with that anywho so once i oil my scalp and i go ahead and sew down my net um i go ahead and um cut off the excess now this part honestly was irrelevant but i just want to show you guys so that you understand later on um i was trying to do a ball cap method without necessarily gluing it down um but later in the video i am gonna cut it off so i was a little my face was like that because i was very nervous um for the color child it was definitely giving raggedy in and your girl was nervous okay your girl was nervous so here i am <laughs> cutting off that unnecessary um wig cap and go ahead and put in that um i'm starting to sew on the closure so you can do this at the beginning of your sewing process or at the end i just decided to get it over with because i knew this would be my largest hurdle so i have two needles doing this process and i have one on one side and i'm going to um i'm trying to clip back the actual closer but i have one needle on one side that i'm going to start just to literally just hold in place and then i go in with the other needle on the other side of my eyebrow and do the exact same thing so i'm literally just going to go back and forth 
and try to um, just secure this. So a lot of the videos that I've seen when, you know, doing my research, I always like to do research before I do a um, hairstyle, no matter what, like if I've done the hairstyle a thousand times or whatever the case is, just to see if there's any new tips and tricks and all of that good stuff. But one of the things that people were saying because they wanted it to be glueless was that if you don't hold, like if you don't have a client and you're doing it on your head, to hold the closure in place as you sew the closure moves so you want to make sure you know just to be um secure just to have that extra security just to do and secure the two sides and then that'll help you kind of hold it i was pushing this closure down and pushing it forward at the same time i was sewing it just so that when i did sew i didn't have any like extra pullback and honestly now that i've been wearing this closure for a minute i wish that i would have put it just a little bit further on my hairline um just because like further down to where my head my forehead just because it's a little bit far back okay now later excuse me in the video you will see that i did end up using glue i really wanted for the life of me for this to be a glueless closure sew-in which this process that i'm showing you and you will see in the next clips is gonna is literally the same process that you would use i just you know i punked out and decided to throw some glue on my head but nevertheless this is what she's looking like all sewn down um i literally just alternated back and forth once i went along the sides and now now that it's all um sewn down all the way around i'm gonna part um along that first braid that i have and i'm using a thinner thread this is a nylon thread the other thread i was using was um cotton but this is nylon so it's a lot thinner and i'm just using this this clo this closure is a hd lace closure and i wanted it to you know not have as many holes as possible so that's why i'm using this thinner thread but i'm sewing along that first braid the first two braids um that i have braided down so that's this process if you don't want to use any glue definitely you know continue on with this and like i said pull the closure just a little bit further down on your forehead so that you um won't have any issues like with the legs or the braids showing because i felt like i didn't like pull it all the way down and my braids were showing a little bit so child just for peace of mind i glued her down but you don't have to so here are the bundles they're beautiful they're luscious i was nervous that they wouldn't match the closure but toward the bottom they definitely matched we're happy with that these are four bundles of 28 inch raw filipino um and i wanted to fit all of the bundles in my head i didn't you know um, what is it spoiler alert i did not but um i did as much as i could so for the first couple bundles i make sure that i double weft them just because i have a small head and i want to get as many bundles as possible but i'm going up underneath the bottom braid in the back of my head and that's going to allow me to kind of like flip my hair up if i need to or you know the, whatever just get more hair in my head so this was that one bundle and i think maybe i think this is just one bundle in for now and then the rest of this hair child is a little cut up. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I just go straight into putting the hair along the very first like perimeter braid, just because I want the hair to kind of fall on my face versus like fall on the side, if that makes sense. Um, so this is just a little trick that I learned along the way. Um, to let that hair actually cover and be added to the closure. Um, Cause if not, it's just gonna go on the side and then my closure just gonna look like thin by itself, if that makes sense. So just curving the hair up and then securing that helps too. I did double weft this weft that I put along my hairline. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, a little trick that I learned just to make your sew-ins flat is just sewing um, really securely down like sewing multiple times and just making sure baby is flat okay also if you want to use your hot comb after each um, bundle just to make sure that the roots of the wefts are flat as well I learned um, from a couple hairstylists on IG so yeah there's so many different tricks and tips to this sewing process honestly this sewing process is very tedious if you want a full detailed version let me know i have a few sewing videos on my channel so you know i'll link those in the cards or put them in the description box so you guys can check those out but this is very tedious i'm just as i curve to the front as i get to the front 
I'm curving the tracks to go to fall on my face as you guys can see them falling. And then I kind of turn them upward toward the closure. So, you know, if you're looking at the video, you obviously can, like, you can see, child, my arms are tight. I ain't go, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was so happy when we got to the end of this process. I was kind of sad though, because I didn't put all of the hair in my head, but nevertheless, we're moving on to the next process. So now I told y'all I punked out and I ended up going, just because like, you can see the legs like flip back and you can see my little braids a little bit. Like, I didn't, I didn't have time for that. So I went with my good sis, Erica Jade's glue. I only put two layers on um but i wanted to just glue this lace closure down and just see what she was working with she definitely melted um the hair i will link below and as well as the closure i got it from two different companies love the closure love the hair um it's a five by five lace hd closure and i believe it's vietnamese straight i was very like i was jumping the gun on this and i really should have just waited like i was very impatient i was ready to get my hair done i'm gonna be honest with y'all but make sure y'all wait until the glue dries okay don't be like me wait till the glue dries so we can have a seamless look okay also 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 make sure that you're putting the hair in front of the glue and not right at the hairline of the closure if that makes sense because i put the hair just a little bit over the glue versus like a lot over the glue and child it didn't do nothing for me but honey <laughs> she was giving like this little wavy look like she was definitely giving of course we had to put some little layers in it i'm not too huge on the layers just because i like my length i like my you know whatever the case is so i didn't put too much but i am using a little razor comb to cut the ends just because they were a little scraggly and then i'm just putting some very light layers the bundles were 28 inches and the closure was 18 inches so i need this to just meet in the middle somewhere you know what i'm saying like let us let us meet in the middle so we ain't got that big like choppy look that's not cute to me um so yeah i use my razor comb and put some light layers in it if you want to chop your hair up girl please go ahead i i just can't me personally i can let the stylist do it but i just can't you know um i put some of my um sleek and shine fructis on my hair just to kind of smooth her out this hair was so beautiful after i bleached it and i was very surprised by that but i was so happy because like it was so beautiful like let me know what y'all think about this color i'm not gonna lie to you i was very nervous about it but y'all i'm literally in love with it it's my color for the summer like i said before and i'm just excited i'm excited for the curly hair i'm excited for the straight the wavy everything so i couldn't tell you what straightener or flat iron that this was it was my teammates i didn't bring anything when i say anything i didn't bring a single thing for hair none of that no tools no products anything to mexico if y'all don't know i do play professional basketball i'm currently in mexico city mexico and i was not planning on putting hair in but at the same time i was that's why i brought the hair but like y'all was not prepared at all so my teammate let me borrow her straightening iron and baby did it what it needs to do okay i used some um silk elements uh heat protectant as well and that's why it's kind of you know silky and moving and then i go back in just to give the front a little bit of a trim because i've seen some scraggly scragglies and um i also just kind of wanted to layer it a little bit more and it kind of gave me that little nice layered straightened look so this was nice sleek and sexy yes but like i didn't have a hot comb i don't have a wax stick i barely even have a a clip child i don't have a blow dryer i don't have anything okay so i literally had to make do with what i had this hair air dried on my head <laughs> i don't even think it was all the way dry but after this whole process um all of the hair you know for the most part air dry and baby baby is looking sleek okay this is before i even cut the lace this is how the hair is looking and this color is everything i've gotten so many compliments on it so like i told y'all before don't be impatient like me wait until your glue is clear okay don't cut <laughs> don't um like lay your lace on white glue it's not it's not done yet it hasn't cured all the way okay and it's still sticking like i'm not gonna lie to you it's still sticking on my head five days later but yeah so I take my scissors and go ahead and cut my lace. And then I take a little bit of leave-in spray and just to kind of tame those flyaways, which it didn't work. It did not work at all. Y'all, this is me trying to cover up the lace. Child, these are the mistakes I'm making so that you don't have to, okay? 
if y'all are planning on doing this, listen to me, Linda. <laughs> Just wait. But you know, it all turned out good. I used some concealer and kind of like define my part and then I use a little bit of a foundation to cover my lace. I did put a little bit of foundation on as well um, to um <clears throat> before i put my closure on my head i put a little bit of foundation on the lace so yeah we want everything skin tone because this is our hair this is coming out of our scalp okay so now we're going to the baby hairs process now if y'all know me and y'all are not new to this channel you know this is not the channel for baby hair so if you've come here for a baby hair tutorial you have come to the wrong place i say it every video and i won't stop saying it until we have perfected the baby hair gang and it's like i've been doing this for so many years and i still i still don't have it i still don't have the juice that i need but you know what we're gonna fake it till we make it we're gonna try until we die i just made that up but like i should trademark that anyways i'm sorry um i didn't have anything like i said so i had some um wet line extreme extreme wet line gel i believe is what it's called i just threw some of that on there child threw some of that on i wasn't gonna do any baby hairs but i seen the way this lace was looking with the glue and i got a little nervous so i went ahead and just added a little bit of more realistic look and added some of the baby hairs you can pluck it a little bit more if you want to it was a little late for me at night and i was just trying to you know get the look together okay so once we've done that for i want to say 30 minutes we go ahead and lay them down this is the next morning and this is how my hair is looking like come on like i put some flexi rise in it last night or the night before i said last night the night before just because i wanted a little bit of curl in the morning when i woke up but honey this is her like look at her they call me kp here but now i'm the real kim possible like <laughs> stop i need to get my long camouflage pants in my black shirt like kim possible call me baby man you want to reach me all right i'm doing so much y'all and i'm so tired i'm so sorry um but yeah this is me showing you the lace um i literally combed my hair as soon as i seen that track showing in the back but then i went to go beat my face a little bit later because i went to go have brunch with my teammates but this is the end of this video make sure if you liked it you give it a huge thumbs up comment any questions comments or concerns down below in the description box baby is beat baby is yeah, she shorty is fine. I ain't gonna lie to you. That orange doing something. But all of the links and anything you need will be in the description box below. I will see you babes in the next one. I love you so much. Ciao. Mwah.